Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my channel Sundays with Sam. Today's dish is so delicious, it's going to blow your socks off. Today I've made an easy biryani with portobello mushrooms, brown rice and quinoa. Attempting biryani can seem very daunting for a lot of people, but in this step-by-step -step recipe, I've attempted to shorten the process and make it a little bit healthier. It's no secret that biryanis are delicious and this is a dish for everyone in your family. You guys are going to love it. So let's get started. The detailed recipe is in the description box below the video. Start by washing thoroughly and soaking your quinoa and brown rice overnight or at least for 2 to 3 hours. The star of this dish is undoubtedly this delicious portobello mushroom. Chop it to this size. Today, I'm going to accompany the mushrooms with carrots and baby corn. Fried onions are an integral part of biryanis and today I've tried to shorten the process by frying mine in the microwave with very little oil. Chop the onion into long pieces, coat it with a little bit of oil and then pop it into the microwave at high for about 8 minutes and keep stirring from time to time. It could take you longer or slower to brown your onions, so make sure you keep an eye on them to see that they don't burn. Next, we're going to marinate our vegetables. Mix together yogurt, ginger and garlic paste, turmeric, red chilli powder and stir it all together. Now add in your vegetables. And then the rest of the ingredients. Cardamom powder, garam masala, fried onions, chopped coriander, a handful of mint leaves, salt and finally some ghee. Use your hands if you want to mix this all together and put it aside for about 30 minutes. Next, we're going to prepare the rice to layer the biryani. Into a very clean cloth, add cloves, cinnamon, cardamom and bay leaf. We're going to tie up all four ends and turn this into a bouquet gani. Put a pot of water on the stove and to that add two heaping teaspoons of salt and one teaspoon of cumin. The amount of salt that goes into this water is very very important to the taste of the biryani. Once the water is boiling, add in your soaked brown rice. We're going to boil the rice till it's 3 fourths done. Keep stirring from time to time. I'm using a flat pan to cook my biryani. This is going to ensure even and quick cooking. Because I added salt, the vegetables have got a little bit watery. I'm just going to give them a quick mix and then dump them into the pan. It's been about 20 minutes since the brown rice has been cooking. I'm now going to add in my quinoa. We need them both to be partially cooked. It's been about 5 minutes since I've added the quinoa. Now we're going to do the smoosh test. Take a grain of rice and smoosh it between your fingers. If you're able to smoosh it but not all the way, your rice is ready to stop cooking. I'm going to strain the rice directly into the pan while keeping some of the moisture intact. I'm going to cover all of the vegetables with the rice. Now layer the rice with all of the same ingredients that you marinated the vegetables with. We're going to repeat the same process with one more layer of rice. Alright, the biryani is now ready to start cooking. We're going to make the pan completely airtight by putting a foil on it and then placing a cover. I'm going to cook the biryani for 20 minutes on low to medium heat. It's the moment of truth. Wow, I wish there was a way for me to tell you just how amazing my kitchen is smelling right now. The veggies look done, my biryani looks good. I'm going to plate it. This biryani smells so, so appetizing. The mushrooms add an amazing flavor and all of the vegetables combined with the fried onions just taste amazing. 
Serve it with a simple cucumber and coriander raita. Enjoy. If you enjoyed this recipe, do consider subscribing to my channel and sharing it with anyone else who you think might find it useful.